This is the rarest sneaker in my entire collection. And when I say rare, I mean that there are only 275 of these pairs in the entire world. And the fact that I own a pair of these is blowing my mind right now. But before we dive into this unboxing, I have been getting a lot of questions about my pretty much broke hat and where you can grab one of these hats for yourself. And the good news is these hats are actually made by my sock brand Apothecary and we just restocked them on our website, which is linked in the description below. Obviously I love this hat because I wear it in literally every single video that I do, but one of my favorite parts of this hat that you guys never actually get to see is that inside the hat there's a secret million dollar bill. Now I'm not gonna lie, this is not a real million dollar bill, those don't actually exist, but hey, you have a fake one inside your hat. <laughs> Again, if you guys want to grab one of these hats, they did restock and they're linked in the description below. But now let's get back to this pair of sneakers, and I guess technically, it's kind of a sample, but realistically it's more of a PE, or a player exclusive. And I guess I should give you guys some backstory on this pair and the other pairs in the collection, and also how I grabbed this pair. So about eight months ago, Jordan Brand and the Oregon Ducks teamed up with StockX to release a very limited run of Air Jordan 8 PEs. Now these PEs sold through a StockX auction, where essentially the highest bid got the sneakers, and all of the money went to fund Division Street, which is an Oregon-based organization that helps Oregon student athletes build their brand and monetize their likeness without losing the rights to their likeness. And from what I can remember, there was only 100 pairs of those Oregon Air Jordan 8 PEs that were auctioned off. I think there was only 100 pairs total. And because of that, that shoe went for like three to $6,000 depending on size. Then moving forward about seven months to about two weeks ago, GOAT actually held a very similar auction, except this time around there were a few more pairs and there was also two different colorways. Now similar to StockX, GOAT held an auction for both of these two colorways. Obviously they were slightly different colorways than what StockX had. These were GOAT exclusive colorways and that was a StockX exclusive colorway. However, the difference between the GOAT and the StockX auction is that on the StockX auction, you could see what everyone bid, or at least what the highest bid was, whereas in the GOAT auction, it was secret. And how I come into the equation, or how I got a pair of these, was that I put in a bid for one of the pairs on GOAT, not thinking I would get it because I saw how much the pairs on StockX went for, and uh, I bid way less than that. Now, I'll be honest, I meant to enter for both pairs of shoes, however, I forgot, and I only entered for one, but I ended up winning one of them, which is crazy, so uh, it obviously worked out. But it really makes me think, if I had bid the same amount on the other pair that was in the collection, what would I have gotten that other pair? I'm not sure. But yeah, overall, it was a pretty crazy experience. The fact that I'm now holding the rarest Jordan in my entire collection, other than like the signed off-white Air Jordan 1s, which the shoe itself isn't the rarest shoe, but the fact that it's signed by Virgil makes it, I guess, a little bit more rare. However, this is the rarest non-modified Air Jordan sneaker in my entire collection. It's one of 275 pairs. I think GOAT dropped 400 pairs total, so I might have gotten the slightly less limited version of the two colorways. I'm not gonna tell you guys which colorway this is yet. If you follow me on Instagram, at Real Seth Fowler, you already know. But uh, yeah, I got a pair, and hey, I'll tell you guys what I bid, because a lot of people have been asking. So for my size nine, because I did put in a bid for my actual size, I bid $1,013. Honestly, I thought that wasn't even gonna be close to what the actual ending auction price was. I was assuming it was gonna be more like five thousand dollars and in my head I was like okay well if it's not five thousand dollars I'd probably be willing to pay a thousand dollars for this pair of shoes because it's a PE I don't have any PEs I'd love to have a PE and a thousand dollars while still a lot of money seems somewhat reasonable for the caliber of shoe that it was. And I also thought if I bid exactly a thousand, there's probably a bunch of other people who are bidding exactly a thousand, so instead I did a thousand thirteen. I don't know why I picked thirteen, I just I just did. I thought it was gonna be unlucky, but it turned out to be a lucky number. And uh, yeah, about a week later I got an email saying that I won, and two weeks later they showed up on my doorstep, so uh, now I've got one of the craziest, most limited PEs I've ever seen. Now I've actually been in contact with some of the other people who won pairs of these shoes on GOAT, and I asked them how much they paid, and I told them how much I paid. Turns out the price Prices ranged from like $675 up to $1,500 up to $5,000 for certain sizes. People didn't really know exactly what to expect and no one really knows what all the pairs went for in those sizes. If you guys got one of these pairs from GOAT and you're comfortable letting people know what you spent on the shoe, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, it seems like, you know, if you bid what you were comfortable bidding and you won, you ended up being lucky. So that was kind of crazy. And uh, again, I still can't believe I had these. It's uh, it's pretty nuts. And even though I'm not planning to sell these, I did want to check on GOAT for how much they were going for. And it looks like in a size 9, which means that there are at least two size 9s available, because I have one and there's one listed on GOAT, uh, the lowest price is 4800 So I think I made a good buy. The cheapest price, though, seems to be for a size 8.5 for 2497 And the most expensive seems to be for a size 9.5 for 6502 So um, actually, you know what? Even though this shoe is less limited than the StockX pair, it's actually going for more. The StockX size 9 is going for 3298 but uh, yeah, 
With all that being said, I know you guys are on the edge of your seat and want to see which colorway I got. And I know a lot of you guys already know which colorway I got, but uh, let's pop the top on this guy. Actually, you know what? Before we do that, sorry to do that to you again. Let's really quickly first take a look at the size tag. Obviously, it's a size 9. It also comes with this really cool sample tag. Um, I was going to show you guys the B-roll of the sample tag, but it tells you which colorway it is. So maybe I'll wait until we actually pop open the box. But yeah, finally, here we go. Let's open the box. Let's see what we got inside. Crazy. So I have taken a peek at these. I haven't really looked at them that intensely yet. I just kind of pulled them out of the box really quick, took a picture for Instagram, and that was it. But uh, inside the box, you do have your GOAT sticker and you have your authentication card, which makes sense. Even though GOAT was the one selling them, they still want to send you that stuff. And then here is the shoe itself, the Gorge Green Air Jordan 8 Oregon PE. Limited to 275 pairs. Now I'm not sure exactly which number I got, Let's see if I can find the numbers. There it is. Okay, so I got pair number 62 out of 275. I have no idea how many size 9s there are. Obviously, there are two. I think for the Stock X one, there was only one size 9 based on what they're saying on their website. It actually gives you the numbers of every size available on Stock X's website. It went from a size 6 men's to a size 17 men's, and there was one size 9 and seven size 9 and a halfs, which is kind of crazy. Actually, the most pairs for the Stock X pair was 14 pairs in a size 12 and 13 pairs in a size 10 and a half. Unfortunately, Goat didn't let us know how many pairs of each size that there are. I grabbed a size 9 in the Gorge Green colorway. So that's kind of crazy, and there was 275 pairs, so I'm assuming probably like four or five, maybe? I don't know. Really, really crazy sneaker. So here are both shoes. What a crazy looking colorway. I'm gonna be honest, I think if I was to wear this shoe, which I'm probably not going to, maybe I will, I don't know. I think if I was gonna wear this shoe, I would have preferred the, the white and gray colorway just because that colorway is a little bit easier to wear. And I'm not like an Oregon fan, I just love the fact that this is an Oregon PE. <laughs> so I would have preferred that for wearing. Then again, I guess if I'm trying to show off the fact that I'm wearing a PE, this is probably the colorway to go with because of how crazy it is. I, I have no idea which one's gonna be worth more in the future. I have no clue, I think as of right now, they're around the same. But yeah, this shoe is absolutely crazy. Why don't we do a really quick sort of mini review on this sneaker. I'm not going to try this shoe on because I don't think I'm ever going to wear this shoe. I think I'm going to put it in a box and kind of preserve it. It's also, like I said, not a shoe that I think I'm going to sell either. This is one of those shoes or one of those grails that I've always wanted a PE in my collection and I've never been able to get one. And the fact that I was able to get one for like a thousand bucks uh, is pretty crazy. So I'm really stoked on that. But I guess getting into the sneaker on the toe, you've got this bright neon green, I guess it's leather, right? Leather material? Yeah, it feels like leather. And then moving up from that, you've got some black on the eye stay of the sneaker. And then you've got this dark forest green perforated um, wrap or uh, I guess strap across the top of the shoe, which of course has the 23 embossed right in the middle. Underneath the strap, you've got these Oregon green laces. And then underneath those, you've got this black tongue. Then at the top of the tongue, you get to the marquee detail, the detail that makes this shoe worth couple thousand dollars versus if it just released as a GR, it'd probably be worth like $80 because I think this colorway is not incredibly wearable. But you've got the Oregon Ducks logo with this really nice sort of chenille exterior. It's sort of embroidered in the middle of the chenille patch and it looks awesome. I really never thought I was going to have an Oregon PE. This is absolutely crazy. I guess moving inside the sneaker, you've got this sort of Oregon green, almost like teddy bear fur sock liner material, which is really nice. And then on the back of the tongue, you've got that little patch, which tells you which number you have. I have number 62 out of 275. And then on the medial side of the shoe, you've actually got the size tag. And this is technically a sample. It says Air Jordan 8 Retro UOP, which I'm assuming is University of Oregon, size nine season sales CFM sample. So this is a sales sample which is cool, which makes sense because they sold it. And then on the inside of the shoe, which I can't really see, but the insole of the shoe seems to be like the same kind of green with a very dark green or black jump man, which I'm not gonna pull out because again, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna try and keep the shoe in as mint condition as possible. I'll put, I have like some extra glass cases. I'll put it in glass case and I'll throw it back there with the off-whites because this is like one of those shoes that, uh, it's crazy. I know there's gonna be a bunch of people in the comments saying like, oh, you should just wear the shoe. You're ridiculous for putting it in the case. But first of all, this is a very hard shoe to wear. And second of all, I can do whatever I want with my sneakers. If I wanna put it in videos in a display case, that's totally fine. Wear your sneakers or don't wear your sneakers. It doesn't really matter. This is more of a collector's item for me than a sneaker that I wanna wear. So that's why I'm going to put it in the case. It is a size 9. It's an Air Jordan 8. So I'm assuming that it does fit true to size. Then moving back on the sneaker to the midfoot, you've got some perforated neon green leather. And then towards the ankle area of the shoe, you've got this sort of forest green strap. And then you've got this really nice metallic green plastic clasp, which I really like. It really adds a nice pop. I mean, we've got a lot of pops on the shoe, but it's a nice sort of material change, even though it's plastic. And then just below that, you've got this shiny black panel that actually has Oregon ducks repeated. And it looks like it's been printed on the outside of this panel, but it's really hard to see because it's printed in black. 
black. Moving around to the heel of the shoe, you've got your black sort of ribbed Air Jordan 8 heel portion. And then moving even farther down on the shoe, you get to your sort of multicolored green and gray midsole. I really like that they added these hits of gray in the midsole. It provides a little bit of contrast from the black and the greens that you have everywhere else on the shoe. And it ties in nicely with the Oregon Ducks patch right there. And then finally moving to the bottom of the shoe, you get to this sort of neon green rubber outsole with the Jumpman right there on the toe in sort of a darker forest green. And then running from the midfoot to the heel, you've got this exposed plate, which usually has some sort of printing on it, but on this colorway, it just comes in, I mean, entirely black. I'm trying to see if there's like any Oregon Ducks stuff printed on there, but no, it's just straight black. So that's kind of cool. Different, I guess. But yeah, overall, one of the craziest shoes I've ever had in my entire collection. I've never had a PE. I've never had a shoe that's this crazy looking. And it's also probably the most limited shoe in my entire collection. Like there's only 275 pairs of these and probably only like I don't know, four or five size nines, maybe even less. I have no idea. If you're from GOAT and you know, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to know. But I guess it's really only for my own just personal interest. I'd love to know how many sizes of each there were. I like that StockX showed us on their website. GOAT didn't. Maybe I'm missing it. If there's a place online that tells you how many pairs of these there are, let me know in the comment section down below. But uh, yeah, absolutely crazy pair of shoes. I think I just spit on it. This shoe is crazy. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Let me know if this is a shoe that you guys would actually want or this is a shoe that you just let go because you just don't like the way that it looks or you don't care about PEs. Let me know all that stuff in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet and I'll see you all in the next one. I can't believe I have a PE. That's so dope. I'm so excited.